Hi, I'm Siddhant and in this video, we will learn how to run AutoGPT, which basically is an AI that can communicate with OpenAI's ChatGPT and with the help of ChatGPT and internet can basically do anything all on its own. And most importantly, you will see how I used it to create an app despite having no coding knowledge whatsoever. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Before installing AutoGPT, you need to install some basic softwares that are essential for it to run. The first thing you need is Git for Windows. To install it, go to this page, link will be in the description below. Click on download and after downloading, click on the file and stick with all the default settings. After installing Git, you should download Python. To download Python, head to this page. Click on download, go to the windows section and then download the python version 3.10.10. Do not use the latest version of python cause it is having some issues with stable diffusion. And since you are trying to learn auto gpt, I am assuming that you also are using other AI models such as stable diffusion as well. Therefore, it is best to use either the python version 3.10.10 or 3.10.6 the version that I have on my pc right now. But for for this tutorial, we will go with 3.10.10. Now click on this python version, scroll down the page and click on windows installer 64 bit. After downloading, click on the file and start the installation. Make sure you check the box that says add python 3.10 to path. Finally, close the installer and we can finally start our auto GPT installation. First of all, head to this GitHub page that also serves as the original repository for auto GPT. The link will be in the description. Once you are on the page, click on the code and then copy this particular code. This code is essentially the address of the auto GPT GitHub repository. After copying the code, go back to your computer and make a folder where you want to install the files. Then go to the command bar and type C md and press enter this will open your command panel inside of which type git clone and paste that code that you copied previously then hit enter and you will see all the files that were there on the github page would be copied onto your pc in that particular folder so what we actually did here is that by writing this code we actually cloned the actual auto gpt github files onto a pc in that specific folder that we created after that click on this file by the name name of env template and first of all rename it to just env then open that file into your notepad after opening this file you will see a lot of things basically this env file contains all the information of all the apis that you might need to run this auto gpt by the way a quick note to mention that the content of this file may have been updated since most auto gpt tutorial might show this older layout however don't worry you don't need all the api keys that are mentioned over here but just make sure that you have the api key for the open ai which grants you access to the chat gpt the google search api key which grants you access to the google search and the pine cone api key which is where the chat gpt generated information is saved as these three are mandatory while others like 11 labs voice api are optional to obtain the open ai api key go to the platform.openai.com and then click on to the api keys if you do not have an open ai account then create one first so after clicking on api keys click on create a new secret api key and copy the keys now come back to your env file and paste it where you see the open ai api key however you will see that they have written open ai api key all over the place so where should i paste it well it's easy just keep in mind any statement that starts with the hash function is a comment and computer do not read that therefore paste this open ai api key over here where you only see open ai api key without the hash function and with also an equal to sign after pasting that now we go to the next api key to obtain a pinecone api key we need to go to the pinecone website create an account and navigate to the api key section from there click on create an api key name it for example auto gpt1 and then copy that api key then finally paste it over here where you see pinecone api key equals to 
without a hair shine and below your pinecone api key you will see pinecone env where it asks you for your pinecone region that you could get from here next to your api key so copy it and paste it to get your google search api key go to the google cloud page for your api and click on api and services click on enable api and services and search for google console api enable it then click on credentials click on create credentials api key and then you will have your google search api key copy it and paste it over here google api key equals to without the hash function and after doing that you will also need to have your custom search engine id for that click on this particular link go to this page and up here to all search engine click add now in here give it a name now click on search the entire web i'm not a robot now hit create and your custom search engine id is being created now copy this id make sure you copy it from equals to and paste it over here after doing all of that now you can finally run auto gpt go back to your github library copy this code pip install dash r requirement dot txt now go to the folder where all your auto gpt files are enter cmd to the command bar paste that copied code over here and hit run after a while auto gpt should start running here, I want to mention a few important points. The first one is that when you start running AutoGPT, you might encounter this particular error and the program will stop running. This is not actually an error, but rather your OpenAI rate limit has been expired, which is pretty common as most of us are signed in to OpenAI free plan. And when all the free tokens of this plan are being consumed, we get this error, which is pretty easy to resolve. And there are two ways of resolving it. First option is to create a new OpenAI account and then use that account's API key because it will have its free tokens. But the best option is to enable the billing option onto your existing OpenAI account and then generate a new API key and paste it in your AutoGPT ENV file. With this new key, your AutoGPT should start working just fine. So, as you start running your AutoGPT, the first thing that it will ask you is to give your AI a name. I named it as Siddhant1. Then hit enter. Then it will ask you to set a goal for its AI. After that, it will ask you to give it 5 goals. Those were Goal 1 Increase my net worth. For the next goal, press enter. Goal 2 Grow my Twitter account. Enter. Goal 3 Grow my LinkedIn account. Enter. Goal 4 How to get a job as a UI UX designer. Enter. Goal 5 How to get a job as a prompt engineer. And hit enter. And then the AI starts to do its work. And we can clearly see how this AI is working. First, we see its thoughts and then we also see its reasoning behind those thoughts. After that, it gives you a plan and it also criticizes itself. After that, it tells you about the next action that is going to take and also asks you for your feedback. Now, you can either allow the AI to run on its own by pressing Y or add a comment if you think that the AI is getting deviated from its path or terminate this whole conversation by typing N. And this is how the auto GPT learns on its own. And now now you will see how I used this AI to try making an app. So I asked this AI to give me ideas on how to use AutoGPT to create a fully functional app that company needs. And this is how everything went. Initially, it came up with some basic information like determining the purpose of the app, use AutoGPT to generate relevant code for the app based on the purpose, refine and improve the generated code with human input to ensure that it is efficient and free of bugs, etc. It didn't have any direction to say the least, but as I added some comments to guide the AI in a certain direction, like browse the web on how to use AutoGPT to create a fully functional app that company needs needs or when the AI model actually started to deviate, I even kind of scolded that AI. Like rather than design, first focus on the most popular app that are used in AI to solve people problems, especially in finance sector and then we should think about any design. So it started to make a plan on how to use AutoGPT to create a financial app that companies need. And after that, as I let this program run for a while, the solutions that it come up with were just mind blowing. Like it started browsing the web and on its own come up with these recommendations on which kind of apps should 
could I make? For example, making an AI powered chatbot that leverages GPT to understand customer queries and provide relevant responses. And it also gave the reason behind his thinking that this can reduce the need of human intervention and help in providing better customer support. Or making a language processing app which uses ChatGPT to generate machine readable descriptions of natural language, which if you don't know, GPT-4 is already capable of doing. See this video for more information and it kept on surprising me again and again. Like it started to study all the existing projects that have used GPT for app development and tried understanding the best practices. And just look how it started searching on Stack Overflow, Microsoft Azure, OpenAI and all the key websites that are related to AI. All of this AutoGPT was doing all on its own without my intervention. The only contribution at that time I was doing was just pressing Y to continue. And it kept on analyzing these websites until it could satisfy your problems. And this very feature of AutoGPT, my friend, is literally revolutionary. That now an AI can not only do tasks on its own, but also improve itself by reviewing its own work. And the most frightening thing is that it does all of this all on its own. And just to show you how revolutionary this tech actually is, let me give you a real life example. If you know about AutoGPT and you are active on Twitter, then you must also have known about Baby AGI, which is an autonomous agent that are powered by AI just like AutoGPT. But this is not the interesting part. The most fascinating part about Baby AGI is that its founder, Yohai, didn't actually knew how to code at all. And despite that, he made this AI by just writing all the relevant prompts. Like he basically started asking chat GPT, okay, how can I do this? What should I do now? Again and again and again. And within the span of just three days, he come up with this program called Baby AGI. As you could see it in his Twitter post, the Twitter thread was generated by chat GPT based on the paper. The paper was generated by ChatGPT based on the code. The code was generated by ChatGPT based on my prompts. Like what? So basically, he went from an idea to executing that idea to having a repo on GitHub in just three days just by using the power of AI. This is how dangerously powerful AI is getting. And this is just the start. It will only go up from here. I myself am working on an app using GPT-3. It is still a work in progress. So do subscribe to this channel. By the way, if you like this video, then you might like this as well, where I turned Black Widow into a Disney princess using Stable Diffusion.